Look at this dude, just wanting to go with me. What is going on YouTube? Kenny Valdez back in again with another video. So I got some explaining to do, but first let's, let's head out the crib. Excuse me, my good sir, my good sir. Excuse me, uh, 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 uh. Back up, I'll see you later. Love you, bye. So today we are picking up another 240. Got some explaining to do. But first, let's let's hop in the uh, little daily that I got here. It's not really dailies. Let's hop in this and uh, explain further. So today we're picking up another 240SX, and some of you guys are probably asking me why. Well, the 240 has some interesting mods done to it. I'm picking it up from a uh, friend of mine who actually helped me put in the engine, put in the RB inside my 240. So today we're going to be heading up to uh, Northport. We're going to go check out this 240. All right, so he pulled up to the homie's crib. Cool. And there's Jake with the tow truck. My guy. Shaky boy. Say what? So I'm just gonna be recording for you too. Oh no, you're good. Yeah, that'll happen. That, that'll do it, right? That'll do it. Uh, that will do it. Yeah, it can be it can be dealt with. Yeah, I mean they, they make tube front ends and shit. Oh, I, just, yeah. I just don't feel that. That's how my hatch is. It's all, none of this exists anymore. What's funny, even I actually have stitched. No one does that no more. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. 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 Oh, you left the window down. Hopefully you don't hit no rain. I think you should be fine. All right, guys. So we just picked up the 240. Um, Jake went ahead and... Uh, left as you guys saw i kind of hanged out and got some extra parts there for my boy cody um even this bezel which is cool because mine is cracked even though there's another one i think on the 240 that's even better condition than that one that one's just starting to crack um just barely but the other one is just mint the one that's in the car um obviously titles right there and yeah let's uh head back to the uh shop and uh look over a, a little bit closer it's uh definitely a good buy uh, I love it and I'm I'm really crushed to see that thing being totaled out like that well not totaled because the frame on that car is actually not even touched um, it's just the radiator support that really got the impact um, got hit that hard and it didn't help that the uh, the bash bar was cut from the back so the rigidity of that um, just went out the window when uh, that was cut out. So that's why it looks so bad is because that bumper support, or not bumper support, the bash bar was cut out from the back. But we'll, we'll look at it a little bit more further once we once we get to the shop. I got about a 45 minute drive or uh, almost an hour drive, I, I lied. Yeah, I like think 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour drive back to the shop and uh, we'll assess it some more over there. Oh yeah, brother. She made it back. Oh yeah. All right. So here she is. Let's let's dive deeper into this 240. All right, guys. Here it is, the RB25 240. So here's the thing. I picked up this car, right? From a buddy of mine named Cody, uh, who you saw there, might have saw a quick clip of him. Fortunately, he crashed his RB25 240, his baby, his pride and joy, and couldn't stand looking at it. So he asked if I was interested in picking it up. I said yes for the sole purpose of this, the RB25. 
This one is an RB25 Neo out of the R34 GTT. So just a step under the R34 GTR um, is what this motor came out of. So I was highly interested in that. Um, didn't really care about much of the show until now. So here's my dilemma now. Um, I should probably go over the car first. As you guys saw, it has an RB25, has some legit Volk wheels, which is pretty cool. Type X taillights, which you guys seen. I uh, don't know what exhaust this is. Medi median, Me median. Um, it's on teen coilovers, teen, teen, whatever. It's got R32 GTR seats, which is cool. Bride floor mats, full interior. I mean, everything is there. It looks a mess right now. And look at this suede headliner. Everything intact. Got the boost gauge there. Um, quick release steering wheel. Uh, it's got just a brand new clutch in it. Has less than a thousand miles on it. I mean, this thing's nice. And I feel really bad that he he kind of crashed it um a lady actually crashed into him but uh this is what i got so now my plan is to swap over the rb25 into my s13 but as i was driving back to the dealer i started thinking to myself what if i went ahead and tried to revive this thing and I ended up just keeping this thing because this thing is so complete it's a lot less molested than my S13. Um, mine has like barely any interior. Not in a bad way. My S13 is better than most, but this one is a lot better besides the fact that it's crashed. Um, it's got the R32 seats. I mean, uh, it's got the, the, it's got a freaking radio. Mine doesn't even have a radio. It's got complete interior, which I love um, besides the RB25, of course. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just swap everything over to my S13. But my question to myself, which is harder? Fixing this radiator support, which I believe it's just a radiator support. I mean, that looks like it was kinked in, but the, the frame looks straight. I don't, I don't really know. Doesn't look like it took any hit to the frame. I, I don't know. I mean, that's a little bit notched right there, but I don't know. I don't know how bad this is, like, in all reality. So my thinking is, hear me out. This video was supposed to be me just picking up this car just for the RB25. Now this video just turned into, what if I went ahead and fixed this? Obviously respray, because I'm not a big fan of the green at all. Um, in video looks worse, but... In person doesn't look oh, like terrible, but it's definitely not my color of choice. At least not this green. I love green. Green's actually my favorite color, but not this green. Um, change the color. And I don't know, just keep this one. This one does not look too bad. Like the more I look at it, the more I want to keep it. But I got to get a professional in here to, to tell me exactly what am I looking at. Because um, it's hard to say exactly. I, I don't know myself. I would obviously have to find a new radiator support cut this one put the new weld the new one on which i have friends that weld so actually cody welds um so that's pretty cool but um yeah what do you guys think should i keep this thing and fix the front end or should i just go ahead and swap this into my s13 leave a comment down below what you believe i should do All right, guys, it is now the next day. Sorry I had to end that last clip there because I was starving. Um, and then after that, I just went home. But I'm back at it again today with this thing. I'm going to be removing the battery off the Sentra. I was supposed to bring the one off of the 240, but I completely forgot to bring it. So I'm just use it off the Sentra, pop it in this thing. Um, I'm not going to start it, but I'm going to... Um, see like if all the electronics work and stuff like that i could start it in this video but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna make you guys wait a little bit i'm gonna start it in a different video so look up for the first start in a different video on the next video i should say all right so 
here you see three bins full of parts. Well, almost full of parts. Let's check out the first bin. So the first bin looks like a radiator fan, some ducting of some sort. Uh, this looks like to be, oh, the center. Pretty sure this is a cubby to hold the radio maybe. Uh, silencer, door handle, not too sure what this is, fuse panel, and a door handle. Cool, not too exciting there. Put that to the side. Second bin, we've got a shroud. Yeah. Well, cluster. Crack cluster. Cluster. Cl yeah, but this is garbage. Damn it. Yeah, I can see that. We got a crack cluster there. Um, hopefully, this one's not cracked. This is interesting. Wow. This is garbage. Yeah, they really did go all out with this green. Uh, piping. And a cooler. Oh, I do have the extra set of taillights. Okay, all right, cool. Probably selling these, so if anybody's interested in some taillights, let me know. I do have the centerpiece as well. Asher, grab me the centerpiece. Oh, slight crack right there. There's this. Boom. Cool. That's pretty dope, I guess. So I got an extra set of taillights, some extra clusters. Um, seat belts. Ah, oh, this is like the one that goes up and over, a harmonic balancer, and yeah, so this is just seatbelt stuff. Yeah, look at this, in third bin, we've got a windshield wiper reservoir, I believe. When's the last time you've seen one of this on the 240? I'm going to try to put this back on. That'd be pretty dope. Uh, looks like an AC condenser. Downpipe, math, oh, some extra gaskets. This looks like to be a center console bezel of some sort. Um, yeah, look, he's got a comedic head gasket. Okay, cool. Um, that looks like to be some carpeting. Yeah, that's an extra carpet that he gave me. Cool. What's this? Oops. Oh, an extra center. And let me see. And hood shocks. Cool. Got some hood shocks. I think that's the center. Yeah, center both uh, center armrest, whatever you want to call it. An extra one of those, which is cool. All right, so some of the stuff I'm gonna be selling, like I don't need the center uh, armrest. Uh, and I have the other piece that goes in the middle there, I believe somewhere here, I think it's in this one. I got extra set of taillights I don't need, clusters I don't need, so if you are in the Southwest Florida area or you'd like me to ship some of this stuff, let me know. I will be able to ship, I believe. But if you're in the Southwest Florida area, Perfect. If you need ship any of this stuff, I want to sell for cheap too. So. Ship at buyer's expense. Yeah, shipping is at buyer's expense. So thank you, Astrid, for that one. But yeah, this is all the extra stuff. Am I missing something in the back? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there's one more thing. Two more things. He gave me an extra dash that he started to repair, which is cool because I'm probably going to try to learn how to flock on this dash and then the engine cover for the Neo, the RB25 Neo. So that's pretty cool. Good stuff, good stuff.